everybody. Welcome back to Real Talk Live with Will and Tammy. This is a show where we try to bring real talk, real conversation, and answer real questions in real time. Today, my co-host is Oyebola Adichung. Oyebola Adichung. Yes. And she is from Nigeria. Welcome to my show. I'm happy to have you. Nice to meet you. My friend. Today we have a few questions that we will ask her. And at the end of the show, please leave your comments and your question below. And we will try to get them answered for you. So we will begin the show. Are you ready? Yes. At the beginning of every show, I like to do something fun. So I'm going to ask you a few very sharp questions and you will give me quick responses, okay? Okay. Black or white? White. Yellow or green? Green. Rich or poor? Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Up or down? Up. Big or small? Sometimes big is not great, that's small. Small? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> long or short? <laughs> no, my thing is too long, it's not good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. <laughs> High or low? Low. Up. Low. Okay. Uh, slim or thick? Slim. Slim. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now we'll go right into our questions that um, come from our viewing audience. Um, these questions are from our viewing audience, you, and um, our neighbors, co-workers, friends, and family as well. Tell us how your experience has been in America and how long have you been here? I'm a baby in America, just three years in America. Oh, congratulations <laughs> to my country! <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, I'm a baby in America. Yes, I've been in America. America has been a good place for people to stay. Go. Like I said, I'm a baby in America, just three years in America. Mm -hmm. I came in 2013. Mm -hmm. And America has been a nice place for me to live. It's a place where you can have your hands. Like you work, you get your money, yes. you work, you mix with people, you see different culture, you learn about people, mm -hmm. then people learn from you. Mm -hmm. So like I can say, my experience with America is cool. Oh, that's great. And how hard was it for you to get the process done to come to America? Was it difficult? Not at all because all my documents were school. I was able to present whatever they had from the embassy. It was just once. So it makes it Oh, wow. Down. You were blessed. <laughs> so what do you tell to people that would like to come to America? You said you're from... Nigeria. Nigeria? What part of Nigeria are you from? Yoruba. Yoruba. Is that the Yoruba tribe? Is that a certain tribe in Nigeria? No, we have different tribes in Nigeria. We have Aousas, we have Hebrews, we have a, so we have Western part, we have South, wow. we have part. So I'm from Western part of Nigeria. Okay. I'm very fascinated and interested in the continent of Africa. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so also, what would you say to um, someone in Nigeria who has great hopes and aspirations to come to America? What would you tell them to do to get started? And what advice would you give them? Like if someone just call me or tell me that he wants to come to America, mm -hmm. I'll first of all tell the person to have more determination. That when you are coming to America, you are starting all over. Mm. And you have to be very, very determined on what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You cannot just come to America and be sitting down or be roaming about or believe that someone can give you money. You have to be responsible mm -hmm. for yourself. 
you have to be a person you don't have to be a dependent on somebody you have to be able to give to people too so what i would tell them is that they need, they should be able to get whatever they need whatever the embassy asks from them yeah they get all the paper ready and they go for the interview if they are able to lock it and give it to them so they should determine that they are making their life when they come here then they have the a larger opportunity for them to go to school more to oh, yes. see what other side of the world is. Mm -hmm. So I will tell them to be prepared that they are here to be somebody. Yes. Wonderful answer. How do you see the difference in cultures, American and African cultures? How do they differ? What are some of the positive things about the American culture that you've experienced since you've been here this short time? And what are some of the negative things you've experienced? And then vice versa, same question for Africa. Yes, like uh, America here, about the kids in mm -hmm. Nigeria, you have to talk to your kids. The way you train them is, is different from the way they train children in America. Mm -hmm. How because, so? Because they are of different culture. Mm -hmm. So, you know, America, we have, I have been hearing that people, I've not seen, but I've been hearing that if you talk to your child some way, the kids can go out of the house, you can do this. But Nigeria, you just say that, oh, this is my parents. I don't want people to talk negatively about my parents. I have to behave myself. Mm -hmm. they say, oh, there is an adage that says in my country that says charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. When you have a good parent, you have good home, you want to maintain the name. Yes. Because mm -hmm. you don't know where you can find yourself. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you will be a politician and people will go back to your history to tell you that this is the way you use your life, this is the way the life of your family is. So you don't want mm. to spoil the big name or the good name that your parents have been building for years. Yeah. So that's why you have to behave the way they train you. But in America here, so people, oh, don't do that to them. Don't do that. They don't do this in America. They don't just talk to children like this mm -hmm. in America. It's just like the way. So that's where the culture is different. Okay. That's where the culture is different. different. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, do you find America a place to raise children? Yes, of course. Okay. Will yes. you bring your children here to this country? Yes, I will. Okay. I will. Okay. And by God's grace, they are going to be somebody mm -hmm. by raising them in God's, in God's uh, fear. When you, the, the Bible said that the, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Yes. When you put the fear of God in, in your children, mm -hmm. they will be able to do whatever you want them to do. Yes. They will go outside and look at what people in the world are doing. They will do it according to the Bible, mm -hmm. according to the fear of God. Mm -hmm. So that's what I can say that is the beginning, is the roots of rearing children, of raising children in America or any country. I think that is so true. Absolutely. How have you seen American men versus Nigerian men? I told you that I'm just a baby in America. Mm -hmm. I've not been able to mix. Have with you been able to mix and meet? Mm, no, I've not been able to mix with uh, most of the American men. But I've been hearing <laughs> the American men have been hearing. What the have American you heard? Men, uh, <laughs> what have you heard? <laughs> <laughs> the American men, their marriage is not long. They just do whatever they want to do. Oh. So that's what I see. But you know. Most of the Nigerians or the Africans, most of them, they respect home. Okay. If you respect your marriage. home, if you respect your home and marriage, then you keep your marriage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's what I can say. Now, let's shift to questions about marriages. Have you ever been married? Yes, of course. Okay, let's shift to questions that I've been asked about marriages with African families. There, there is a rumor or a, um, a lot of talk out there about married couples being married to an African man sometimes can be difficult because the family members tend to um, be involved too much in the marriage and they kind of break marriages apart. That is a rumor that is out there about marriages in African families. 
Can you help shed some light in that area? I can say a little bit about that, that they are 50% fruit or they are 50% uh, wrong. It's not every African that does that, mm -hmm. but we have some people that does it. Even though during the marriage, if it is church marriage, the pastor will be telling you that two are joined together, not three. Yes. He I've, said a man I and a woman will come together and claim together I and be one. Be one. Even though will they, leave his Jesus mother Christ made the, made the mathematics one plus one is <laughs> one. It's not so. So marriage is supposed not to be involved too much of family. Mm. When the family gets involved in marriage, that's why the marriage breaks. I will use this uh, medium to appeal to parents, especially the men parents. Let's say the female that coming to your house as one of your child or your daughter. If you say your, your son's wife as your daughter, in fact, the lady will never go out of your will. She will present herself to be your daughter. She will man, she will take you as your as a as a home mother. Mm -hmm. She will take care of you. She will do mm -hmm. what even your son cannot son do. do. <laughs> she will do it for you. Mm -hmm. I have some. If you accept her, yeah, yeah, I have some experience in that, mm -hmm. uh, which is very very bad. Mm -hmm. Like. When I take that person as my mother, even though nobody knows that she's not my mother, I call her my mother, and everybody knows that wow. they believe that she's my mother. You know the way she behaved was the way that people know that she's not my mother. Oh. So that's why I'm using this medium to really to it. And people ever ask me, male child, believe that you are bringing in another children, that you are the one that gave birth to those children that is coming to marry you. Son, do you have a son? Baby? Yes, I okay. have three boys. Amen. You are blessed. I have boys, so mm -hmm. I I have been praying to God that when God is going to give them their wife, mm -hmm. their wife should be my daughter. I don't yeah. want wife. I want my daughter for them. Mm -hmm. I want the daughter that will see me that this is my mom. Mm -hmm. Whatever I want, I'm free to her. So let your wife, let your son's wife, be free to you. Yes. So don't get too much involved. In, don't ask about. Don't ask about. Don't ask from your son that what do you hear yesterday night? Did your wife give you sex? You don't have to yes. say that. You don't need that. Uh -huh. Leave them. They have their own life to live. They are mm -hmm. young. Let them live their life. You live your life with your husband or with your wife. Let them live their life the way they want. Let them see the light. Of the marriage let them enjoy their marriage don't just come one day and just bring your load and stay with them don't stay with them like that let, let yes. them invite you wow let them invite that's you. a big word you said let them invite you let them let, let them let them accept you to the house before you come wow. when you come they take care of you even though the husband may not even have money it's maybe the wife that had the money mm -hmm. but you cannot even know don't separate that's them. so true don't separate their accounts don't let people know that oh it is my son it is my that destiny. is so true let them be themselves let them work together i i can say that some uh, most of the modern healers from the uh, husband side what they do is that oh yeah she has she has taught my son to be a slave no she has not taught your son to be a slave. wow don't tell your your son's wife to be a slave your son's wife was born by somebody was given back by, by somebody she by saw someone's child she's not even saw someone's child and so let them go together, let them work together, let them be the friend of themselves. Don't separate them. Don't stay with your son in the room too much. Wow. Don't ask that about what they very eat. Very important. Let them live their life. They love themselves. That's why they come together. Mm. Let them raise their children the way they want to raise them. Wow. So that's what I can say about marriage. Then I think uh, African mothers should be able to see from what I've said and learn from what I've said. Yes. Let them you don't know maybe that's that lady is meant for your son. If your son is out of that lady's way, your son may not be balanced at the end of the world. <laughs> yes, it's true. Let them go together, let them live, let them fulfill their destiny. If they're not if they are not matched together by God, they won't get themselves married. Let them be. Don't say, oh, this is from my town. This is not from my town. This is from a yes. rich home. This uh -huh. is from a poor home. Let them come together with the Lord and let them grow together. According to the Bible, let them do according to the Bible. Don't separate your children. That is me, what you said, man. Don't separate them. So that's what I can say for my Thank you. That 
was amazing. I appreciate your response. The next question is about children. How does it, uh, how does African families feel when a son marries a woman and she's not able to have children? Well, oh, I've been hearing, because I don't have the experience, I've been hearing that people have been saying it that it's hard. That it's hard when the wife cannot produce children. Mm -hmm. We are not God. Oh. God made children. Mm. We just try our best and let God answer the prayer. Yes. When a man and a woman come together, it is God that says, oh, they are going to have children. Or you don't even know maybe it is your son that has the problem. Oh yes. You don't know maybe the I've problem heard is that too. you don't know maybe the problem is from the lady. I've heard that. Let too. them find out and find a solution together. I've heard All that. what you have to do is to pray for them. Mm -hmm. Don't force your children, oh don't force your son, oh you have to leave her, you have to go and marry another. Oh my god, that's really bad. Don't do that. Yes. I will I will even use this one to beg the mother in laws not to do that to anybody. Take that lady as your daughter. See her as one of your daughter. If it's your daughter, you cannot leave her. You have to find a solution to the problem, not to be giving them problem, not to be giving the, your son a prayer that you have to leave her. She's this, she's barren, she has already aborted, wow. that she has do this. Don't call her names. My goodness. Don't call her names. It's only God that gives children. Although I'm so lucky, so you have three boys. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, I'm so lucky. Thank you, Jesus. So that's wow. what I can say about that. This has been a wonderful show today. My co-host Abola. Oyebola. The beautiful Oyebola. <laughs> I thank you very much. You have shared a lot of truth and a lot of light to America. And I hope that from this segment you will leave your questions and comments. And we will have Abola again. She will be my co-host again to answer your questions again. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. Thank you very Bye. much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.